Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at um, a question that's going to have a direct correlation to that epsilon delta definition of a limit. Now, when the question is written as it is here, it makes the question really easy in the sense that they give you the portion of that definition of a limit, that epsilon delta definition of a limit, that you need to know to be able to work this out. Okay, so you're given a limit and what that limit equals. They're asking you to find delta such that the absolute value of the function minus the limit is less than one half. Okay, so then here is your epsilon value. So basically, we just need to follow this. We need to take the absolute value of the function and subtract the actual limit, which is going to be an 8. So I'm going to have the absolute value of a 3x plus a 2. That's my function value. Now minus the limit, so minus 8 absolute value is less than 1 half. Okay, I'm going to do some simplifying here in the middle. That 2 minus 8 is going to give me absolute value of a 3x minus a 6 is less than 1 half. All right, now I need to get this simplified down so that I have an x minus 2. In this case, I know 2 because the limit is approaching 2. So I need to manipulate this so that I get down to an x minus a 2. So I'm going to factor out a 3. If I factor out 3, I've got 3 absolute value of an x minus a 2 absolute value less than a 1 half. All right, now I know I have simplified this in such a way that I'm going to be able to now find my delta. X is less, or X minus 2 here. X is approaching positive 2. Opposite signs, I'm good to go there. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3. So I'm going to divide by 3. All right, and then over here, I'm going to divide by 3 as well. That's going to give me the absolute value of an X minus 2 is less than a 1 sixth. Okay, so then that tells me that my delta value is 1 6. So I can conclude, therefore, my delta is equal to a 1 6. So like I said, pretty straightforward um, application of this epsilon delta definition of a limit. A lot of times they're not going to be this explicit in the problem. They're just going to give you the epsilon value and then ask for delta, ask you to find delta, and then that means you're going to have to memorize this portion of what to do. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.